In this problem, we have a scale model. So we have a drawing of a house, and they're telling us one inch represents 10 feet. So one inch in this diagram represents 10 feet in the real world. And they've even written it out for us as a ratio, one inch to 10 feet. I'm going to write that ratio in a slightly different way. I'm going to write it as a fraction, so one inch to 10 feet. And we're going to use that in our calculations. So let's see what our questions are here. It says, in the scale drawing, the height of the house is six inches. What is the height of the real house? To solve for that, we're going to set up a proportion. We'll use our, our ratio of the scale model here, and then we'll set up a ratio with the things in the same order, so inches on top, feet on the bottom. In this case, six inches is the height of the scale model, and we don't know how many feet is the height in the real world. So I've set up my my proportion. Now I can cross multiply to solve for x. Well, 1 times x is just x, and uh, 10 times 6 is 60, so we have 60. And maybe that was easy enough for you to solve in your head. Uh, every inch is 10 feet, and there are 6 inches, so you knew that was going to be 60 feet. But in case it gets a little more complicated, setting up a proportion like this will definitely work every time. Let's uh, try it with this next one. It says the length of the real house is 40 feet. What is the length of the house in the scale drawing? So here's our ratio again for the scale model. It's one inch to 10 feet. And in this case, we're being told the real world length is 40 feet. Putting feet on the bottom, just like it is on the left side, same order I need to put it in on the right side. And we're looking for how many inches it is. So we'll put the x up there. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll cross multiply again. So 10 times x is 10x. 1 times 40 is 40. We divide by 10. And we get x equals 4 inches. So that is a little bit of work with finding links in scale models.